Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and partner at West Vault, and today we are talking about 8.1's brand new feature called Fibers, okay? So this is literally a game changer for PHP. We've been talking about async being basically the Achilles heel of PHP, meaning that you always need to know that some of the newer languages have come out and they have all sorts of async functions making use of the multi-concurrency ability to be asynced and basically running in parallel. Now, the thing about where PHP came from, right, was early days of the internet, early days of the web business, where you didn't need to have a lot of concurrency or run async because you didn't use that many uh, APIs and services. This has obviously changed in the way that we've done things into the 2021s. And now in today's 2021 world, right, we are using a lot of APIs, we're lot using a lot of third-party services. We are also using a lot of databasing. A lot of the work's been handled by the database. And in this way, the language, especially a language like PHP, is starting to behave more like what we call a middleware. So it's not exactly doing the heavy lifting itself. It's letting somebody else, some other language handle that. And then it's basically becoming some sort of controller where it's dedicating a cross. I hear this word middleware. This is what it is all about. Now, there is a misconception, right, at this point of time, that PHP does not offer async, right? It, you, it's just going to be one thread, one uh, core. That's incorrect because the current structure of where PHP is, is that basically we have a Apache or Nginx server that actually handles the multi-threading. So if you can imagine, here's a graph down here that I've put up that shows you how it actually behaves with the multi-threading. Now, this was working pretty well for about 10, 20 years, right? Until today, where a lot of functionality is now moving outside. And this is where some of the languages, the newer ones, especially Go and JavaScript, have really thrown in a lot of this async functionality. However, there's some drawbacks about that. I will go more into detail about all the difficulty in plumbing. I've talked about uh, async being very much more difficult. You know, if you're doing things simultaneous, you have to worry about ordering. You have to worry about promises, all these very uh, complex. You've seen me talk about Ratchet. We've seen you talk about Guzzle. All of these have some form of async being added into it, but it wasn't really rolling down that well because, you know, it's not part of the core. Now, Fibers is that new move. Fibers allows us to do concurrency, not quite uh, simultaneous. It's called concurrency. I've talked about it. It's where you're doing one thing and you switch over while you wait for something to do something else. If I'm riding a bus, I uh, switch over and start answering my emails on my phone. Now, this is how concurrency works. Once one processor is not actually, it's just awaiting for things, you go and do something else. That's what a fiber is. It's handled on the programming side. It's handled on the code side by PHP, not handled anymore by Nginx, Apache, or some other third uh, API that you try to work in through. So what's so good about fibers is that it lets you both run the thing, await, stop, and start. So that's how you run multiple little chunks of code uh, throughout your app. Okay, so this is my example here uh, on PHP fibers. Here you can see it, async examples without dependencies. We don't really want to talk about uh, other third party packages and you can actually get it here. This is the link I also include in the description and it's only available for 8.1. So um, if you want to run things like get contents, the problem is that they are blocking. So while the PHP 8.1 says, hey, can you uh, continue through file get contents is going to say, hang on, uh, I got to finish this first. So you need to use this example here that's going to run their HTTP uh, class and it's all included in this repo. It's over here. And basically what I'm going to explain here is that number one, you set two requests. Okay. And then you loop through your request. So this is a for each looping through each individual uh, element in the array using the use command. Now, this is the very important one to be able to use async await. Remember, most PHP functions at this moment are blocking. So you have to use this async and then it runs request connect and then awaits for it. And then it runs async await 
<coughs> and then if you get uh, and a fetch down there and then it continues through here and starts it so can you imagine like nothing is stopping here it's just going to loop and loop again and what happens is that whoever responds first it would then uh, process that um, that command for example and this is what it'll look like you know you connect it to enemy tavern connect it to footbridge media and then the first one that responds back to so this guy may be the third place but he is back in the first place and while they're waiting for these two they connect it again and then they finish this guy again so who uh it's first come first response so this is essentially how fibers is going to work application now previously you guys will know in php right that you can't do that if one of the major caveats about this is that you will not probably need to use fibers directly the frameworks will be incorporated to use it. And that's exactly what it's actually written in the RFC. So the main idea is that you're gonna see frameworks like Symfony, like Laravel, they're gonna come out and use this with their own kind of classes to create this kind of concurrency to improve your application. What does this mean? This means that you're gonna be able to use some form of concurrency, improve your uh, async uh, abilities of application and actually push it out so you don't actually have to switch anymore like I used to switch a lot to JavaScript when I wanted to get that concurrency it's still early days but I expect to see a lot of announcements and I'll keep you guys posted about all the async abilities coming out from the frameworks and that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so <laughs>